What's up, everybody? Welcome to a Monday edition of The Squeeze. I am Tyler Connie, and I hope you enjoyed an amazing Sunday of football. Like I talked about yesterday, there's just something about NFL Sunday, and you put on Red Zone, and as Hanson says, seven hours of commercial-free football, and it's a whirlwind. And it's I always like... My favorite part is the 1 o'clock games. I'd say the start of the 1 o'clock games... You kind of fade a little bit in the afternoon because everything's so chaotic. But then I always like that break after the four o'clock games. You can kind of, you know, have dinner or do whatever you got to do. And then you can kind of, you settle in and you watch the night game. Um, you know, it, your full attention is there. You're not bouncing all over the place like you are with Red Zone. But interesting day, interesting Sunday night football game, 40 nothing for the Dallas Cowboys. I had, I was getting smoked in my fantasy league. I had the Dallas Cowboys defense. They got 38 points, and now I think I'm like 25 points back going into tonight, and I've got Dalvin Cook and James Cook, and he's got nobody. So fingers crossed for a big week one, because I also have Dak Prescott, who got six points. So not so good there, but in terms of the betting, it was a good day. It was a 3-0 and sweep here on the squeeze. We hit all three of our bets. We had... What did we have? We had the Jalen Hurts under 242 and a half passing yards. He only had 170, even though the Eagles won that game. He was under his total by 70, which was great. What else did we have? We had Jacksonville minus four. That was interesting at the end. Anthony Richardson got hurt. Um, So Gardner Minshew had to come in. The Colts had it on the goal line. They couldn't score there, which was nice. And then we had the San Francisco 49ers on the money line. That was never close. It was 30 to 7. Now, if you're in the Discord or you do follow me on Twitter, we hit some other nice props, too. We had Brian Robinson over 58.5 rushing yards. That hit. We had Deshaun Watson over 22.5 rushing yards. That hit. We did uh, a nice little teaser where we had Baltimore minus 2.5 and and Washington plus 0.5. That parlay hit. So it was a nice day overall, definitely, and just overall very nice to have football back. Um, Before we get into today's bets, if you want to just hop in the link in the description, join the Discord channel. Um, it's where a lot of the conversation takes place. And also, uh, the subscribe button. I think it's on that side of the screen. Tell one friend, hey, this guy does this almost every single day. And uh, he's up 55 units on the year as we head into the second NFL season that I've done here. A uh, subscription is always nice. It's always appreciated. Um, everything I do is always posted for free. Um, and now, let's talk today. So we're going to start with the NFL. Okay. We're going to start with the Monday Night Football game. We've got my favorite team, the Buffalo Bills, going against the New York Jets, who now have Aaron Rodgers. Maybe this is a bit of a homer pick. Maybe it's just because I don't like Aaron Rodgers. I'm taking the Buffalo Bills minus 120 on the money line at Betway. Straight up money line. The spread is around one and a half or two, depending on the book. I don't want to play around with that at all, considering the juice you have to pay. Minus 120 is not so bad. Give me the Bills on the money line. It's going to be an interesting season for Buffalo. They've obviously made a couple of runs lately, fallen short at the hands of the Kansas City Chiefs. I think their best chance was probably two seasons ago when they lost in overtime, and that was that was that whole thing of the Bills never even got the ball. Josh Allen never got the ball in his hands in overtime. They've since changed the rule on that. I think they've fallen off a little bit, battling a little bit of injuries. I think the Jets are going to be a very good football team this season. I think there's a chance that the New York Jets can win the AFC East. I don't think they win this initial first game. I think the Bills are still a little bit uh, more cohesive. They're not, uh, you know, Aaron Rodgers is coming in. He's got a whole new system, a whole new everything after being in Green Bay for a couple of decades. I think they're going to figure it out. It reminds me of when Tom Brady went to Tampa and they were not figuring out it out over, you know, four, five, six games. And then he kind of had to take over and say, look, I know what I'm doing. This is what we're going to do. Tampa went on to win the Super Bowl that year. Now, do I think the Jets are going to win the Super Bowl? I don't know. The AFC is very difficult with the Bills, with the Chiefs, and even with the Ravens this year. But I do think that Aaron Rodgers at some point will figure it out. I just think it's going to be really hard to do it in week one. Um, With all this pressure, it's your first game. It's at home. It's on 9-11. And you've got the Buffalo Bills who are, you know, have won the AFC East the last few seasons. So we'll see. I hope it's the Bills. Um, I think it's going to be a close football game. I'm hoping, for my fantasy team's sake, it's a high-scoring football game. But I just think, until the Jets figure it out, it's going to take them a little while. They might need that road game against a lesser opponent to get that sort of figured out. So I'm going to take the Buffalo Bills on the money line, 
minus 120 at Betway. My other bet for this game is a player prop. It's Garrett Wilson taking him over 67 and a half receiving yards. This is minus 110 at Bet365. Garrett Wilson is 1,000% going to be Aaron Rodgers' favorite target this year, and we've seen what he does with favorite targets, whether it's Jordy Nelson or whether it's Devontae Adams. He feeds the beast. And Garrett Wilson, last year, his rookie year, oh, only 1,100 yards in his rookie season. And when you look at the amount of times he went over the total, he started off the year a little bit slow. But once we hit week 11 last year, he had 95, 162, 78, 98, and he had 30 and 18, and then 89. But one, two, three, four, five of his last seven football games, he went way over this total. And this was not with someone of Aaron Rodgers' caliber there. I think the addition of Dalvin Cook is going to help along with Brees Hall because you're going to be able to do a lot more play action. Your guys are going to get open because there is the definite fear of a run that's going to be a little bit more uh, you know, scary than Michael Carter was, for example. So I think Garrett Wilson is going to be able to get it done here. Aaron Rodgers might not be able to get it to too many other players, but he's going to get it to Garrett Wilson. So I'm going to take over 67 and a half receiving yards there for minus 110. And then the last bet of the day is in Major League Baseball. And it's where else am I going to go? But to the Toronto Blue Jays, who are finally turning it around. They've won a bunch of games in a row. They just swept the Kansas City Royals. And now it's probably the series of the season. They are facing the Texas Rangers. And the Texas Rangers, sorry, I'm just opening this up here. The Rangers trail the Blue Jays by two games in the wild card. There is 19 games left. This is it. Jays are 80 and 63. Rangers are 78 and 64. You also have the fact that there's this rivalry from 2015, 2016 from the bat flip, from the punch from Rugnado Dorda Jose Bautista. These teams do not like each other. This game is being played at the Sky Dome. The fans are going to be rabid during this series. The Jays could walk out of this series two games back in the wild card. They could walk out of this essentially having clinched a wild card spot. It's probably going to fall somewhere in the middle, but I like this game to go under. You've got Dane Dunning going today for the Texas Rangers. He's 1-4 in in his last five starts. He's got an ERA of 2.8, but he's only given up. The highest total he gave up was four earned runs. That was against the Minnesota Twins. Uh, a couple starts ago, but he's given up three, four, three, one, and three. So he hasn't been terrible. And the Jays really aren't scoring runs. The Jays are 76 and 59 to the under this season. And you look like they swept uh, Kansas City, but they went under, under, and a push. They scored five runs, five runs, five runs in all three of those games. They've gone under 4-4-2 four, four, and two in their last 10 baseball games. Texas is 8-2 and two to the over, but they're not really scoring runs either. They scored 9 yesterday against Oakland, but previous to that, they scored 3-3-3-1, three, 6-6-7, three, three, one, six, six, and seven, but before that, 1. And then you've got starting for the Toronto Blue Jays, Chris Bassett, who's been great for them this season. He's 3-2 and two in his last five starts. He's coming off eight, er, sorry, eight innings of one earned run baseball. That was against Oakland. You say, well, that was Oakland. Well, what about Washington? He went eight innings there, and he gave up zero. He had a bit of a rocky start against Cleveland. He went five and two thirds, gave up four. He still struck out five. But before that, six innings against Cincinnati, six innings against the Cubs. He's been playing well. Neither team is really scoring a whole bunch of runs right now. Um, and it's just, this is a, going to be a playoff type atmosphere. This is going to be a playoff battle game. So in nine, again, you know me, I like the nice round number. If we have a five, four final, we push, get the bet back all good there. So I'm going to take the Toronto blue Jays and the Texas Rangers under nine for minus one Oh nine at bet, R- bet rivers. Again, hop in the discord to join the discussion. You can follow me across all of my social media channels and also hit the subscribe button. If you like what I'm doing here, the three bets for today, give me the Buffalo bills minus 120 on the money line. That's at Betway. Garrett Wilson to go over 67 and a half receiving yards for minus 110 at bet 365. And give me the Texas Rangers and the Toronto Blue Jays to go under nine for minus 109 at bet rivers. As always, drop a comment. If you're fading or following, follow me across my socials linked in the description, Spotify and Apple for your audio. Have a great Monday and let's talk sports.